Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are gonna use our iPhone to measure some deck board lengths and some other lumber lengths. And then we're gonna check it with a tape measure and see how accurate it is. So if you get something out of this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. So basically the iPhone has an app called Measure and you can just pick a point and measure just about anything you want with it. And we wanna see how accurate it is. If it's really just something that's assumption or is it pretty close to being the same as what we have physically with a tape measure. So we have four boards out here on the floor of our shop and we are going to measure each one, write down the measurement on it. And then we're gonna use our measure app on our iPhone to see if it's relatively close or if it's not close at all, okay? So let's get the measurements done and then we will check it with the phone. All right, so we have a really short piece of two by four. So two by four usually nominally is an inch and a half tall by three and a half wide. And this is 15 and three quarters. What I've been told about the measure app is that it can only measure in half inch increments. So if you need something more accurate than that, then this app may not be working for you. But we're just gonna measure these. This one's about 33. It's 32 and seven eighths. This board here is 60 and a quarter. And this board is 134 inches. Exactly. So now that we know that, let's take this app and see if we can come up with a similar length or let's just see what it tells us the length is. I'm, I'm gonna do my best to be accurate. All right, so here's our first board and we're going to try to find the edge of it and hit the plus button. Okay, looks like I'm off a little bit. It's pretty close. And then we'll go to this edge and hit it. It says 16 inches. So I'm a little long, so I'm gonna do it again. Fifteen and a half. So it'll do half inch increments. So fifteen and a half. So that was fifteen and three. That board's fifteen and three quarters. So that's pretty close. It's a quarter inch. So this might be good for estimating, but if you need exact measurements, it may not be what you need. Okay, let's try the next one. There's the edge. Okay, it says thirty-three and a half. And we're 32 and 7 eighths, so that's a little long. Let's try one more time, just trying to be as accurate as I can here. It is a phone and an app, so. Okay, that time I got 33 inches, and we're 32 and 7 eighths, so it's only an eighth inch out. So that's not too bad. Okay, this one's 60 and a quarter. Let's see what the, the good old measure tool says. Five feet, which is 60 inches, so, okay. All right, so since these boards were all different lengths, this, this last one we have is, is exactly the right length. Okay, looks like I grabbed it okay. Okay, and that says 11 foot one inch. What's 134? I don't even know. Let's just pull a tape on it. 11 foot two inches, so it's an inch off. Oh, no, wait, it just said 11, 11 foot two. Okay, unless it's reading my tape measure. So that was pretty accurate, 11 foot two. How come it said 11 foot one earlier? Let's do it again. Okay, that says 11 foot two. So that's pretty good. There's an option for centimeters. I don't really work in those, but if you're, if you're Canadian, or uh, a European, maybe centimeters would be a good option. Here's a conversion of meters. And okay, so like 33 and a half says 84 centimeters. So that's kind of cool. Okay, all right. All right, so there's one other thing I wanna do is I want to take this board, I'm just gonna put it over here on this table. And I thought we'd measure the height and the width of this as well, okay? So let's see if we can get an inch and a half out of this thing. says one inch. Let's try that again. Okay, that time I got an inch and a half. All right, and then here, going this way, three and a half inches. So that's pretty close. I'm gonna do that again, because I think I'm off a little bit. So that time I said four inches. Do it one more time. Trying to be accurate. 
It's right on the cusp of being between three and a half and four. All right, here's what I think. This is a great, actually it's a pretty good tool. If, if I'm on a bid and I just didn't, I forgot my tape measure and I needed to measure some distances of a deck, I would totally use the measure tool because an inch or two isn't gonna matter either way. But if you're really looking for accuracy, it's gonna be difficult to get a complete accurate number. But I think for general purpose, that's a cool app to have on your phone. I'll probably use that in the future. But if you need it for severely accurate measurements, I probably wouldn't use it. I would just use a regular tape measure, but it's a good backup if you need to know, know a distance of something and you don't have a tape measure. Let's do one more. Let's do a really long measurement and see what we come up with. And then I'll take a real tape and see if we can go like to hundred feet or something like that. Let's try that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a measurement with uh, the measure app and I'm gonna go from the corner of my shop over to the wheel of my truck and then we'll pull a tape on it and see how close we are to being accurate. All right, so here we go. So I'm 37 feet, one inch. Okay, let's see what we got with a tape. I'm about 37 foot three. So again, we're only off an inch or two and 37 feet, so if you need it for extreme accuracy, I wouldn't use it, but if you're just trying to get some general measurements, I think you're good to go. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. I'm just gonna put all this stuff away, and uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, leave us a note below, and don't forget to like our videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day.